Hi, I'm Henning from Make It, and today I'm going to try to rescue this battery. This battery now only gives like uh, two hour, two minutes, three minutes. Means that the battery is basically broken. It has this pillow effect. It's uh, inflated a little bit. These batteries needs to be stored at 50% uh, charge over time. If you store them at fully charged or empty, chemistry inside the battery will little by little damage the battery. Anyway, I'm gonna try to to rescue this by replacing the very cells that are inside the battery. You want to actually keep the the top and you want to get rid of the rest and install a replacement battery. I'm going to remove the foam here separate the cells all the gases in here bursting to get out got this one off now we just need to oops got sparks <laughs> little spark Look at this mess. <sighs> yeah, so I finally got them all out. Um, yeah, look at this mess. Protect the contacts here. Take some tape over and put them in the battery bit. Now I have uh, I will clean it up a little bit, um, cut the plastic evenly and sand it a little bit, and um, fit this the back on again. Now let's see if we can fit the. The back side on again. Button works. Okay. I happen to have a few of those uh, three cell uh, 2200 milliamps laying around so gonna start with that. Uh, you can also use uh, bigger batteries, um, 4000 milliamps or 5200 milliamps, uh, which will be much closer to the, the original capacity of uh, 5200. Um, but I don't have that exact battery right now, so I'm just gonna make a generic uh, contact here so I can use this one or whatever battery I I have in hand um, so it's going to be like a flexible system um, so I'm going to need to uh, solder plugs to connect the balance port and I'm going to need to solder a plug for this XT60 plug so I'm just going to check the traces so this is the plus here and so this is this is the plus and then those two are the same and then all those four is going to be the next so on the balancing lid this is going to be here and then the next one is going to be here and all those four are the same and then the third cable goes here and all those four are the same and then the minus goes here and then we're gonna do the same with the main cables I using the wire size of 16 um, which is the same as the internal cable here 
So I'm just going to use that size. Okay, we got a solid solder here. So let's put on this jacket. Let's see if we can get this one to light up. I think I'm going to start with uh, the balancing plug because it handles less current. So if anything goes wrong, um, it's going to be less damage. So. Let's try. Oh. No smoke. Let's see if this one works. And it works. We have battery meter. Connect this one as well, the main one. All right. So we're good now. Let's see if this one can fit inside. All right, let's see if we can power up.